Tiger Woods' personal life is about to take another personal beating. Our favorite golfer is no stranger to scandals and media attention. We guess that's what happens when you're the best golfer of your generation, and every aspect of your life has been documented since you were seven. At one point, one should ask, is it intentional? We mean how he constantly finds himself in a media, legal, or sexual scandal almost every time should be studied. Well, you are about to find out the whole scoop of the latest Tiger Woods scandal. Make sure to subscribe to the Golf Caddy for all your up-to-date news and information in the world of professional golf. Just when it seemed like his turbulent life had settled down, that he was a happy family man with a long-term companion and his two children, Woods' world is about to be turned upside down again in public. Erica Herman, Woods' girlfriend of some six years, is taking the 47-year-old golf superstar to court, according to documents filed in Martin County, Florida. Hoping to nullify a non-disclosure agreement, Woods made her sign at the beginning of their relationship. But first, who is Erica Herman? Herman's career has primarily been in the restaurant industry. She worked as a bartender and was eventually named VIP manager at the Blue Martini Lounge. In August 2015, she became the general manager of Tiger Woods' flagship restaurant, The Woods Jupiter, where she began working directly with Woods, and the two began seeing each other shortly after for the next five years. After months of rehab from a car crash, Woods returned to golf in December 2021, playing in the PNC Championship with his son. Cheering from the sidelines was Herman, along with Woods' daughter and ex-wife Ellen Nordegren. However, their relationship ended in October 2022, when Woods allegedly locked her out of the seaside mansion they shared on the Treasure Coast. So what happened? Woods, of course, was the subject of a very public cheating scandal in 2009 that wrecked his marriage with his then-wife Ellen Nordegren, the mother of his two children, Sam and Charlie. He was alleged to have had affairs with numerous different women, some of whom went public with the juicy details of their trysts, making money for paid appearances and interviews about Woods. This is surely why Woods insisted on Herman signing that NDA, hoping to protect himself from some sort of tell-all situation if their relationship ever ended in acrimony. And yet here we are. But this latest relationship mess of Woods doesn't appear to be about infidelity. It appears to be about money. Herman had become a fabric of Woods' life, almost always present at tournaments in which he played, often hanging out with his kids. She was frequently spotted at the kids' sporting events. She seemed to have a profound effect in turning Woods into a much more grounded, humble person. In his meetings with the press, Woods appeared happier and more content than he had before he'd settled down with Herman. Herman, too, was the opposite of some of the women Woods had dated previously, like world-class skier Lindsay Vaughn. In that she was neither famous nor flashy, Herman had a girl-next-door vibe, and she was extremely close to Woods' children. I'll never forget seeing Herman with Woods' mother Tita, Sam, and Charlie huddled together at the corner table inside the Augusta National Clubhouse in 2019 as Woods was about to win the Masters. Herman doted on the kids, who were relentlessly ripping their way through candy and leaving rappers everywhere, and she fidgeted nervously while watching Woods on the TV screen, trying to close out his 15th career major championship. Now this. This wasn't the end game that the Woods-Herman relationship appeared headed, at least given what we saw in public. News of the court filing by Herman caught a lot of people people in golf off guard. Though she had not been seen at the last three golf events he was at, beginning with his Hero World Challenge in the Bahamas and the PNC Championship and the Genesis Invitational last month. This split is further evidence that you never know what goes on behind closed doors in anyone's life, even those you may think you know based on what you see in public. Lawyers from Erica Herman, who began dating the golfer in 2017, argued she is owed $30 million due to the way she was suddenly a victim from the house. In a separate lawsuit, she wants a non-disclosure agreement, NDA, she signed with Mr. Woods to be cancelled after a recent law was put in effect by the United States government back in 2021. While the couple's breakup has not been formally announced, they have not been seen together in public since attending the U.S. Open tennis tournament in New York last August. A lawsuit she filed in October against a homestead trust held by Mr. Woods has only now emerged. It alleges she was locked out of their shared home in Hobes Sound, Florida. Florida. Specifically by trickery, agents of the defendant convinced the plaintiff to pack a suitcase for a short vacation and, when she arrived at the airport, they told her she had been locked out of her residence, according to the documents seen by the BBC. The legal action says Ms. Herman's personal possessions
possessions were removed from the property. She also says that $40,000 of her money was misappropriated, adding that the representatives of the trust then made scurrilous and defamatory allegations about how she obtained the money. Separate legal documents filed by Ms. Herman's lawyers on Monday in a court in Martin County, Florida, near where the couple had been living together, challenged the NDA with Mr. Woods. The civil lawsuit also received by BBC News argues that Ms. Herman's agreement with Mr. Woods is invalid and unenforceable due to the 2022 Speak Out Act, which limits the enforceability of NDAs in cases of sexual assault or harassment. However, her legal action does not detail any such allegations. Ms. Herman, her lawyers say, is currently unsure about what other information about her own life she may discuss or with whom. Her attorney, Benjamin Hodes, did not immediately respond to a BBC request for comment. Ms. Herman has regularly been seen by Mr. Wood's side in the past six years, including as he was recovering from a severe car accident that, it was initially feared, could end his golf career. Well, this is not the first time Tiger Woods is involved in a sex-related scandal. Let's take you down memory lane for a moment. In November 2009, tabloids reported Woods was having an affair with a nightclub manager, Rachel Yucatel. A few days later, he crashed his car in front of his Florida mansion at 2 a.m. The rumor is Nordegren had confronted him while he tried to flee. Following the news of Woods' crash, more and more reports of his infidelity surfaced with the number of women. Some outlets reported Nordegren found out by looking at his phone. U.S. Weekly published a voicemail allegedly left by the golfer for one of the women he was seeing, initially denied the allegations, but later admitted to them, apologizing for his transgressions. Over the next few months, many more women came forward claiming to have slept with Woods during the eight years he was with Nordegren. A few months later, the athlete gave a press conference where he shed more light on the situation. I was unfaithful. I had affairs and I cheated. What I did was unacceptable, he said. I hurt my wife, my kids, my mother, my wife's family, my friends, my foundation, and kids all around the world who admired me. In August 2010, Woods and Nordegren announced they would be getting a divorce. Even though it is too early to judge or ascertain anything, one thing is obvious. There is a pattern. We wish the best of luck to our legendary golfer and also wish true justice prevails. What do you think is the best move for Tiger Woods? Is there really a case of sexual harassment? What do you think will happen? Share your thoughts with us in the comment section. Hit that subscribe button and share it with your friends. Tap the bell icon in order not to miss the latest golf news and gist as they are happening.